Hi, good morning. My name is David Caribbean. I'm a real estate investor based in Twin Cities, Minnesota. I invest in multi-family apartment buildings. In today's video, I am going to talk about how to find apartment investment deals. As you know, the deals are the most important thing when it comes to real estate investment. The deals, if you have a good deal, you can attract investors, you can get good financing, and it will provide cash flow for you. If you don't have a good deal, you won't be able to raise the money, you won't be able to get financing, and you won't be able to profit. So how do you find deals? Uh, so many times throughout conversations, I get asked questions, how do you find deals? Everyone knows MLS when it comes to single family houses. Uh, usually realtors or brokers, they have access to MLS. But when it comes to apartment investing, things are a little different. So who, who has the deals when it comes to multifamily deals? Well, there is there are brokers. So this is uh, one way to find a deal. Usually brokers, uh, in every market there are few brokers that control the most majority of the deals in that market. Now the brokerages are Marcus and Milichap, ARA, JLL, uh, Cushman and Wakefield, um, uh, what else, Burkadia. So these are big, large brokerages that they have the deals. Uh, another way to find a deal is what's called loopnet. Now, as you know, they say loopnet is where the deals go to die. And it's very true. Usually when the brokers can't sell their deals, they push it to loopnet and then uh, you can go on loopnet.com, search your area, you'll see a bunch of deals. So these are the deals that nobody wanted to buy and they ended up there. Uh, usually what I would recommend is to go to LoopNet to find a broker instead of a deal. It's a great way you can find broker's name, phone number, email and develop a relationship with brokers from there. Another way to find a deal is through direct mail. This is where you get a list of property owners, then you start direct mail campaign to them. This uh, strategy is very common with wholesalers or flippers. They usually send the owners what is called yellow letters. These are uh, your regular notepad, handwrite them or some printing companies, they can make it as if it's handwritten and then they will mail to the list. So that's another way. Uh, fourth way is called driving for dollars. Basically what you do is you hop in your car, you start driving around the town, you can drive in your neighborhood, see a property, whether it's single family or multi-family apartment building. You can jot down the address, call the number, you know, get in touch with the owner, start the process from there. Uh, this is another, uh, usually it's not that expensive, but it takes time because you have to drive every block in the city. Uh, another way is cold calling the owners directly. This is my favorite way. Uh, this is basically you get a list of owners and then you start, sit down, start dialing the owners directly. Uh, very efficient way in a day you can make 200 calls doesn't mean uh, 200 or 300 calls doesn't mean all of them will answer the call from my experience i usually get six seven answers that contacts the people that are the owners and out of, the, out of that uh, most of them will say well i don't want to sell not interested but it's okay you just keep calling 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 eventually you'll come across a deal. This is exactly, I found a deal here in uh, North St. Paul in my area uh, last month by cold calling. The owner is looking to sell the property. We got in touch and, you know, we kind of started the process from there. Uh, one thing, uh, and uh, 
the way I found my first deal is actually through broker, but the way I learned about that broker that sold me the deal is through cold calling because what happened is I was cold calling the owners in Dakota County, that's a county in Minnesota, Twin Cities. So one of the owners that I got in touch with, I met the guy, you know, we developed a relationship, but he wasn't interested in selling the property, but he introduced me to the broker that was selling the property. So then I met the broker, went, sold the deal and bought the deal. So in a way, cold calling got me into the deal. Uh, tonight at 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Central Time, guys, I'm holding a free webinar. I'll show the exact steps that I use to find the owners, how to get a list, and uh, how to start cold calling them. There are some steps involved, and I'll cover those in my webinar for free. You can go to davidcaribbean.com forward slash find. Again, it's davidcaribbean.com forward slash find. There is a link below. Again, if you like my videos, if you're receiving value from this channel, please subscribe to my channel, comment, hit like, and turn the notifications on so that you get notified when I post a video next time. Again, thanks for watching. Stay safe, take care of yourself, take care of your family. And I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye.